everybody. Welcome. My name is Keith and this is the Rock Hippie Adventures. Today I want to bring to you a piece of equipment that I'm sure everybody's seen on YouTube by now. There's thousands and thousands and thousands of views on people reviewing, talking about this piece of equipment and it's the Rodecaster Pro from Rode Microphones. Now I love this piece of equipment. I've only been using it for a couple of weeks and now I'm bringing you a video of why I love it. And I know there are great reviews and in-depth you know, overviews of this about the audio processing, about the recording, about all the great things it does. But I'm just gonna bring to you four simple things that make me love it and I think should make you love it as well. And it has to deal, one, with because it's good for podcasting, but it's portable podcasting. What makes this a great portable podcasting studio? It's not just a soundboard. It's not just a mixer. I honestly feel that this is an all-in-one studio. And hopefully with four of the reasons I bring to you today, you'll think so too. And maybe you'll go pick one up. I mean, I'm not getting paid for it. I'm not sponsoring it. They're not sponsoring me. But I think if you're podcasting and you want to make your life a little bit easier, go pick up one of these. Let's check it out. First reason I love the Rodecaster Pro is for the recording on board. It has a SD micro card that hooks into the back, or you can push it into the back. It doesn't actually hook, but you know what I mean. So you can record straight to the board anytime, anywhere. The great thing about this board also is that Rode does sell a USB power pack that can power this system anywhere you go. So you can take it on the road with or without power and record anywhere. That's why I love it. I can go to the mountains and set up shop at the top of a mountain after hiking and hit record. And as you are doing your show, it's recording it there. And because of the built-in functions that you can find at other videos, and I may do one later, about all the audio processing that it has built on board, which is also really great. But this is my four things that I like about it that really sold me, and this is one of them. Being able to record anywhere. And when you're done, stop recording. The great thing about it is, is you're not gonna hear anything because I wasn't actually talking to a mic, but I can go to the settings, I can go to podcast, and there, now I can see what I just recorded. And if I want to listen to it, I can hit play. And it'll actually play back to me what I recorded. So I can check to make sure everything is okay, even when I'm gone far away. I don't need to download it, upload it, do anything like that, pull the SD card out, and put it on a computer to listen to. I can know right then if that was a good recording or not. And I can continue on from that. Recording is my number one favorite thing on board about the Rodecaster Pro. So you see why I call this an all-in-one studio, because you can record right to the board. I mean, you can't do that on a Behringer or an audiogram, which I've used before. I love this. That's why I call it an all-in-one studio. It is the perfect tool for podcasting, portable podcasting, and making your life easier. I mean, think about all the work you have to do editing. Now there's a lot of cool features in here that save me a lot of time, like the audio processing, the compression, the noise gate function, the big bottom in your affix processing. All those things are super, super awesome. And you'll see if you get into it and look at more reviews, but this is awesome that I can record. Just hit record and you can start. Now, the second thing you might think, oh, maybe he's gonna talk about the audio processing. Nope, not gonna talk about the audio processing. I'm not gonna talk about the nice XLR ports in the back. I'm gonna talk about something that's really prop outside of recording is my favorite, favorite, favorite thing on the Rodecaster Pro. Now the second reason I love the Rodecaster Pro is a simple thing. It's not so simple because they've done a great job integrating it into the board, but it's not like all your audio processing, which all the audio geeks are like flipping out because it has the Aphex and the big bottom and it has noise gate and it has compressing. It has all the things that make us sound really good while podcasting and it is a great thing. It is one of the reasons I bought this board, but my favorite things on the board, my second would be, yes, the sound pads, cause you can do stupid things with sound pads. But 
I like it because I don't have to have this other setup, this other input of, a, of an iPad, of a phone, of a computer, where I have to have a board, where I can program all my sounds in, my intros, my outros, everything is right here on this board, again, which makes it great and portable. It can be all right here on one function. But I love it because you have eight sound pads, you have two banks that can set up 16 sounds. That's right, eight times two. Simple math. But here we are. You can load things like your intro. And it has its own volume button. Go figure, you can fade up. You can fade down. And if you're tired of listening to it, just hit it again. Gosh, I love that function. I love the ability to throw something into my podcast quick and during production, not post-production. Because, you know, you, you have those times where you're like, oh, I want to throw an extra sound in there. I should have done that during the show. You'll throw those in. But now you have the ability during production to throw them in. Anything. Silly things. Gibberish. Yeah. Like that. You can buzz your guest. And I love it so much that you have that ability there. And the other part about the sound pad, which makes this really great, because now you got a portable soundboard with sound pads. But you can also pick up sounds while you're on the road. Simple. Like, go to your settings. Go to your sounds. You have your sound bank. All those are full, but I want to add an extra sound. So I'll pick the top one. I can choose any color, which is cool. You can choose how you want it to play back. And you have your microphone. You're in New York City. You want to get that jackhammer hammering on the streets. You're like, I love that sound, so I got to add it. I hit record, records the sound. It loads it into your sound bank. Boom. Why do I love the Rodecaster Pro? It's simple. Because it can record and it has a sound bank. Stay tuned. I'll give you the other two here in a second. So, that's a pretty cool feature. The built-in sound pads. I mean, who wouldn't love that? I mean, if you do it right, set you a little kick bass, a little hi-hat, little snare, make your own little beat on the board. I know that's kind of pushing the limits, but still, let's be honest. That would be a cool feature. Now. The other part that I like about this, now this comes back to like not only does the sound pads make it portable because you don't have to have an extra piece of equipment to throw in your intros, your, your sound effects and things like that, but the other part that makes this really great for a portable studio, portable board, portable podcasting, recording, everything, is this next feature and it's my third favorite thing. My third favorite function which really sold me on this was the ability to record in from other devices. Now there are three ways you can record in. You have your USC, USB connection which is actually a USB-C port in the back. You have a TRRS connection in the back which I know it shows foam but you know you can hook your 35 millimeter jack into it. And then you have this cool little thing which everybody uses is Bluetooth. Let me say this um, with discretion. This is your PSA for the Rodecaster Pro. Once you hook your phone to the Rodecaster Pro Bluetooth and you come in the house, for some reason it automatically connects. So when you go to the bathroom and you're sitting on the toilet doing your duty, literally, and you're playing a game and you scare your wife in the living room or your daughter in the living room or whoever is in the living room or in your studio area because it comes through the speakers because you forgot to turn the road off, and you're in there and they go, what are you doing? Well, it works really well, people. I mean, it works really well. It's a great Bluetooth setup. That's just your PSA for it. But anyways, my other function, the other reason I really love this, the third reason is because portability, people. And here it is. I can Bluetooth my phone in, in uh, on top of Mount Kilimanjaro if it works. <laughs> Zoom call my buddy and have a talk sesh for a podcast while I'm on a mountain and he's on the ground or in another country. And the quality is quite good. I use this a lot for Zoom calls, for Zoom interviews. I've noticed that bringing in Zoom through my USB-C off my computer has quality that's better than recording it on Zoom itself and then bringing it in track. 
Now you can multi-track here, which breaks all these out, your mics, your four mics, and your three channels here, and your soundboard, which is great. I love multi-tracking, but again, simplicity and portability is what I'm looking for most of the time when I'm gonna go. Keep my editing down because there's so many things in life that are going on. This makes it easy. Like if you're just getting started and you got a little bit of capital to spend, this is it, it. because these three areas here make it so easy to add other people to your call. You can have three interviews going on or three people on your interview and three remote locations because you can bring Zoom on your computer, Zoom on your phone, and another phone, Bluetooth. Love that capability. And again, I have to say this, the quality level that comes in, like from the Zoom calls that I've done, are bar none. I mean, it sounds as good as me being on the mic going in. Well, almost as good as me being on the mic going in. But that's number three. So, that's a pretty cool feature. I mean, to be able to not only Bluetooth the phone in, to TRRS another phone or computer or piece of audio device in and to have the USB-C port that's bi-directional, which I probably didn't mention that, but I just thought about it. But the bi-directional nature of it that you can record into the board and send sound out of the board through the USB-C is a really great function. I think that being able to be anywhere in the world and to have an interview, like say you're on vacation and you're traveling and you're like, oh, I gotta record this interview because it's the only time they can schedule it. Pull out your Rodecaster Pro, hook your microphone up, Bluetooth your phone in, and it's golden. I think it's a really cool feature. Now, to the last thing, which is not the least important thing for me, but on this list, it comes in fourth, and this is my fourth favorite function while I love the Rodecaster Pro. Okay, number four. And again, it's a minor thing that and I'm not going to call it too minor because it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's not like super techy or anything, but it's something that, again, makes the portability of this so great. And it is the headphone preamps. I love it. You got four jacks in the back, which all are quarter inch. So you'll need quarter inch adapters if you're going to plug in your headphones in the back, if they don't have quarter inch. But you also have a TRRS adapter up front, which is 3.55 millimeter. They go straight. That works off of headphone one and I love the knobs because you can't hear it maybe you can but it's got the little slot and you can feel each one to each level it's not all willy-nilly wherever you can feel you can count them if you want I love that functionality of that it gives it a real feel to it a real solid stable sturdy feel to it but I love the fact that you can plug headphones right into this and they sound good. You can hear well. And you even have the ability to boost the sound of the headphones in the settings. I love that as well. But again, number four, being able to have a built-in headphone preamp, because let's be honest, I still have one headphone preamp that I use for exterior speakers and stuff in other areas. Or in my original setup, I had to have that one box, that one preamp, and you guys know, if you buy a good one, you're looking at 100, 120 bucks for a good headphone preamp that's going to last. This has it built in to your Rodecaster Pro. You got to find something that works for you. And these four things, what makes it work for me? So there you have it, guys and girls. My four favorite things about the Rodecaster Pro. It's not the four best functions of the Rodecaster Pro. It's just my four favorite things. It's not even the four favorite things that sold me on the Rodecaster Pro, but it's the four favorite things I've learned to love since I started using it a couple weeks ago. Yes, recording on the Rodecaster Pro and being able to save it to itself via an SD card is a super awesome function. Also, the sound pads, let's be honest, it saves me other pieces of equipment to have to carry along with me if I'm going somewhere else to record. The USB, C, the Bluetooth, and the TRRS connections to the Rodecaster Pro makes it super awesome to record interviews, other audio from other sources, anywhere you want to be, and they actually sound really good is number three. And of course, number four is the headphone preamps. Who doesn't need four headphone inputs on their mixer? 
because that way if you are portable you are somewhere say you want to you're out on the road and you go to a show and you see your favorite band and he's like hey you happen across and they say hey can I interview you real quick and you pull your Rodecaster Pro out your backpack yeah that's right you go to shows with your Rodecaster Pro because you never know when you're gonna score that interview but again you have headphone jacks there for to get all the people you need on to do the show now I don't know if there's your four, four favorite things about the Rodecaster Pro I don't even know if you have a Rodecaster Pro but take it from me the little guy not a big channel, not a lot of views, just me, my wife, doing this thing, Rock Hippie Adventures. We hope you enjoy this video about the Rodecaster Pro, and we hope you check out our sites. Check out the end card that's coming up where you can find all about us. Peace.